Engineering Explained, Education Comes Standard, imported from Carolina, the ultimate teaching machine. I am professional grade, education that excites. First man, then whiteboard. Math, it's what makes Engineering Explained, Engineering Explained. Vroom, vroom. And that's why today, moving forward, I'm very excited to be driving something I've never reviewed before, the 2016... Uh, now, before you dismiss the idea of watching this video, let me tell you a story. Back when I was in college, uh, before I was a professional whiteboarder, uh, my roommates and I used to go to the International Auto Show at the Raleigh Convention Center in North Carolina. And so this was probably in 2009, 2010, about six to seven years ago. And we go to the auto show and check out all the cars. Uh, and to give you some context of, you know, the kind of car guys that my roommates were, or are, I should say, one of them, Kyle, currently today, drives an Alfa Romeo 4C. He also has a Fiat 500 Sport. Uh, my roommate, Trevor, he has a Volkswagen GTI and a straight-piped uh, 2004, 2005, I believe, Jeep Grand Cherokee with a V8. Um, and then my other roommate, Zach, has, uh, you know, he lives with his two cats, and he's got a Honda Accord. He's a little different, but cats are awesome regardless. So anyways, I, I go to the auto show with Kyle with the 4C, Trevor with the GTI. Of course, they didn't have those back then. Um, they're both engineers. And so we go to the auto show, check out all the cars, uh, you know, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Lotus, this, that, the latest and the greatest and everything. And there are two cars that I distinctly remember standing out to us while we were there. Uh, the first one was the Ford Flex, and the second one was, voila, what we are sitting in, the uh, Toyota Sienna. And so, you know, the reason being, you get in it, you know, you're with your roommates, it's like, man, this would be the ultimate road trip vehicle. You've got so much space, as you can see by the leisure way that I'm sitting in this chair. Um, and it's just an awesome road trip vehicle, you know, gather with your friends and go do something. Uh, and so that was kind of cool to us. But I don't like to make claims without proof, so I sent a text to my old roommate Roommates, uh, Kyle, Trevor, and Zach, and I said, oh, look what the I'm driving this week, Mo Sienna, and Kyle with the 4C says, oh, yeah, dope, Trevor says, baller for a week, and then a couple hours late, uh, Zach responds, the guy with the cats, and he says, living that high life. So that kind of gives you some context of Zach. But my point is that there is a reason why even car guys like us get excited by things like the Toyota Sienna. Cup holders all over the place. There's a massive screen, a Blu-ray player. Actually, I'm not quite sure what Blu-rays are, but the HDMI I could use, a tablet holder in case one massive screen isn't quite enough, wireless headphones, 100 watt outlets throughout, window shades, Toyota's reputation for being synonymous with reliability, tons of legroom, and just look at how many tires you could fit in it. If we're being honest with ourselves, there aren't many vehicles that would be more enjoyable to drive across the country with four plus people. Okay, but what if you need to seat eight people instead of having these nice uh, cup holders right here? Well, check this out. This is a seat, this small thing right here. And look how easy this is. I put it down in those rear latches, fold this out, down, up, boom, you've got another seat. That's pretty cool packaging right there. So you're wondering, how does it drive? No, you're not. It's a minivan. There's nothing dramatic about it. Think about it as the opposite of your kids in the back seat. While they're screaming and throwing cereal and spilling orange juice on the floor, you're up here. The car is quiet. It's comfortable. Uh, it's spacious. It's effortless. So we'll get to something that car guys do seem to care about, for better or worse, which is the 0-60 to 60 test. All right, so all the shifting is going to be automated. I've got the traction control completely disabled. Do a little bit of a brake hold. A little bit of tire spin. And there's 60. In all honesty, I do really like this minivan. You know, it's certainly not sporty or anything like that, uh, but incredibly practical, good reputation for reliability, you know, the things that you want if you need something like this. So thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And that's why today, moving forward, I'm very excited to be driving something I've never reviewed before, a bug on my face.